guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is a VR and project share for Papercraft Mix here on YouTube. She is also BrigJE5 on Instagram. So she is hosting a subby challenge. I believe she reached 500 subscribers on Instagram. And so you need to be following her both on YouTube and Instagram to be eligible to enter this challenge. I will link the video to her announcement down below if you would like more details. So she has asked for a memory decks card, two sets of three embellishments and four flowers. And the flowers cannot be part of the embellishments. And also to do a VR and a share on Instagram if you have it. So this needs to be postmarked by June 15th because I'm going to be waiting till she receives it. I don't know when this video is actually going to be posted. So I do apologize if that's not a lot of time, especially since she's in the Netherlands. So it might take some time for your entry to get to her. Sorry, she always decides to join. So for my entry, I decided to play with the Garden Party Collection. I'm so excited that I get to craft with it again. And I made a loaded bag because I thought it would be a really cute way to house the required projects in one place. And it's super cute and it allows me to do a little bit more crafting. So. I actually realized that I didn't make a card, which is very unlike me. So I'm going to need to make a card after this video because I just, I need to get this like done and out of the way so I can package it up and send it out because I'm going to the post office tomorrow. So I will pull everything out and show you the bag at the end. So the first thing I have is this garden pick embellishment. I got these picks from Dollar Tree and I just used some trim I found on AliExpress and then used some of the ephemera for the Garden Party collection. This is actually the digital collection you can get on AC Digitals. I'm so happy that they offered that because then you can print and resize the ephemera as much as you like. I also used some of the my gold marker on the edge of this ephemera piece just to give it a little bit of a border. I also use that new Dollar Tree glitter ribbon that I hold and I have some gold thread under the swan and I also used another one of these resin bows I got from AliExpress and then this chiffon ribbon I also got from AliExpress. So in this bag is my memory decks card. For the topper, I used a couple of doilies, a mint one and a white one. I ruffled up some paper and used this heart flock tool and a gold leaf trim. I have some ephemera here. Some of it is garden party, some of it is actually from open book. And I just used some gold stickles. And then everything is being held together with this mint pom-pom paper clip. So I have my memory decks card in this iridescent bag I got from Daiso. So here it is. So I've mentioned previously that I'm not a fan of like the regular memory decks cards anymore. I prefer making memory decks cards out of unconventional shapes or you know something that's not a memory decks into a memory decks by giving it that bottom. So because I'm playing with the Garden Party Collection, I thought it would be super cute if I can make a 3D greenhouse. And I love the way that this one turned out. I used the iridescent acetate that I got from Joanne. And I came up with the measurements, so it's not perfect. But the fact that it looks like a greenhouse, that's, that's good enough for me. <laughs> I scored it at about half an inch for the, the panes of the glass. Here's the back, and because it is a greenhouse, I put a bunch of flowers inside. I also made it into a shaker, just for the fun aspect. Down here, I have some ribbon I got from AliExpress. I ruffled up some more paper from the collection, and then this gold heart trim, you guys know, is from Hobby Lobby. These pink flowers, I can't remember if they're from Dollar Tree or if they're from Hobby Lobby. Then I have some more of the ephemera, used a little bit of Nouveau drops here. Here I have some felt flowers that I got from Dollarama. Here's another ephemera piece. And then here I have a pink polka dot bow. 
Now I got from AliExpress. And then I also have this tiny little birdie, which I thought was super cute on top of the greenhouse. This birdie was a charm. I just cut off the loop and then just glued the birdie on top. Then this is cut out using a die from AliExpress. It's cut it out of mint glitter paper. And these epoxy stickers of these butterflies and this flower comes from your dollar store with more, but I believe Hobby Lobby carries them as well. So I just created the greenhouse and glued it on the base or the bottom portion of a memory dex card that I cut out using a regular memory dex card die. And I embossed it using this bow embossing folder I got from AliExpress. Here's my label. So that's my memory dex card. I'm so sorry. She always decides to join. <laughs> so here I have the flowers. Um, I made five because apparently I can't count. <laughs> but you know how it is when you get into a zone when you're crafting. You don't really notice anything. You just continuously craft because it's so much fun. And then you realize, oh, I made more than I was supposed to. So <laughs> I'm going to just send the five that I made. So for the topper, I just folded up some paper and then I have this sparkly tool. I used more of that Dollar Tree glitter ribbon. And of course, there's some more ephemera. I used some more stickles. And I also have more of these resin bows. I absolutely love these. Like I've mentioned previously, I am obsessed. They just, they're the perfect little accent. And I'm gonna be putting them into this frosted polka dot bag I also got from AliExpress. So these flowers are cut using a die from Ali and I just cut them out of various garden party papers or garden party colored papers and I just used a sequin mix for the center. I just poured some glue and dumped them in and then smooshed them in. <laughs> it's the easiest way I know how. So this one has like a green motif with some pink leaves. I love this yellow one with the pink center and the mint leaves. This one here has a green center. Love. I love the mint with the pink center and the yellow leaves. And then there's a pink one with a green center. So, so pretty. I absolutely love these. So for the first baggie here, I actually already put some sequins in for some reason. <laughs> So I'm not going to put them in until I'm ready to send them out. But um, for the bag topper, I just had the KS Craft Bow Bag Topper die. And I used a mint puffy heart for the center. So that's going to hold my first embellishments, which are the heart hot air balloon embellishments. This is cut out using a die also from KS Craft. And I just cut it out of various glitter papers as well as the garden party papers and I absolutely love this die. I'm sure you guys have seen this die. A lot of people have been using it. I just absolutely love the 3D-ness of them and then I use some gold foil for the bows as well as the backing of the baskets. So pretty. My next embellishments are in this bag. So the topper, I used some more doilies. I used a large white one, a gold, and a mint. I also have this border die that I cut out of gold foil. And then I have another open book flower that I put this tinsel glitter in the center. And this is holding my second embellishments. So for these, I made some heart vellum shakers. So the papers I used are from the Garden Party collection, obviously. And the vellum comes from Hobby Lobby. I just had it in my stash because I haven't been to Hobby Lobby in ages, but I grabbed a bunch when I was last there. So the die I used actually had a stitching detail which made hand stitching so much easier because I just had to follow the lines. Here's the back. And then all I did was I ruffled up some paper and then layered on some of this sparkly ribbon, also from Hobby Lobby. I have this 
border dye. I think it's the same one that I used. Yes, it's the same one that I used on the bag topper, but I cut it out of gold glitter this time. And then I have some of the ephemera. Again, I use some of the open book flowers. This vellum one, for example, it's from open book. Then I have a puffy sticker. This sentiment sticker is from Dollar Tree. It says make a wish. And then I have some sequin clusters here and there. This one has a pom pom. I used a gold butterfly sequin with some diamond dots and then I hung a tassel at the bottom with this tiny little gold heart sticker I got from your dollar store with more so that's the first one I decorated them pretty similar to each other you know just use different papers and different colors different ephemera but otherwise it's pretty similar so this one here still has the ruffle paper and the mesh and then I have some of the ephemera I still have the gold butterfly sequin with different colored diamond dots, some more sequin clusters. Here's another sentiment sticker from Dollar Tree. This one says, it's your day. And then of course I have a tassel at the bottom. And then this is number three. So this one is also very similarly decorated. Uh, this time I used a rolled rose and I used Nouveau Drops on this flower here. Again, here's a sentiment sticker from Dollar Tree, some more sequin clusters, and a tassel. So I love the way these turned out. And then finally, I am gonna be gifting her some of these. So for the topper, I just folded some paper and punched the edge with one of my punches. And then I ruffled up some of this paper, which is pink and white crepe paper. I have some ribbon. I have this sentiment that says, you are my happy, which I have no idea where that's from. I have a tag from the collection with some seam binding. And then um, I have a gold fabric leaf. Here I have a bee that I cut out using a die from AliExpress. I actually made it so that it looks like one of the bees from the collection, so I gave it pink wings. And then I have some paper flowers here and there. And here I'm just gifting her some of the straws. A lot of them will match the Garden Party collection. And because I have so many straws, I figured it would be nice to share. And I, I also find that straws are really handy to have for a lot of different projects. So here is my bag. This bag is created using this pink bag I got from Hobby Lobby. And... The inside paper is cut out using paper from the collection. I just punched it on the edges. This pink and mint pom-pom trim comes from AliExpress. So does the sequin bow. Here I have some scallop lace on the back of the pocket and then some more pom-pom trim on the front of the pocket. The pocket itself is made using my favorite paper from the collection. I think it's called In Bloom. I'm so sad that scrapbook.com is completely sold out of it. So, but I do have quite a few sheets of it. And down here, I ruffled up some of this pink glitter paper. And I have this gold glitter trim I got from Dollar Tree. The butterfly is also from Dollar Tree. It comes from a card that they were selling, I think for Mother's Day, and I thought it fit perfectly with this collection. I have a swan sticker I got from Hobby Lobby. I have a couple of rolled roses. This one here is made out of pink vellum. I love vellum roses. And then here, I just layered on a bunch of the ephemera from the collection. These two are tags. I included some eyelash trim and this trim I got from AliExpress. And again, some of the vellum flowers come from the open book collection. Here's a puffy sticker from Garden Party. These two chipboard stickers. And this gold bow flat back comes from AliExpress. I love this chipboard sticker that says, look at you grow, which is perfect because this is a subby challenge. So that's my bag. So that was my loaded bag. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I will link her video down below. Please go check it out. And as always, please stay safe, please stay healthy, and until next video, have an awesome day. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.